year old <laughs> My computer is dead. Good morning! Today I am doing the all the preparation and packing for the move and tomorrow the movers come so I'm so excited but look y'all look how good this camera is. I finally upgraded my vlog setup so I'll go ahead and show you what it was before and this is what it is now. Oh my gosh it's so nice. I got the a7s3 which is a huge upgrade and I was using the the a7ii for like my sit down videos but for my vlog, I was just using a regular Sony camera, and now I have a very nice mirrorless vlog camera, and I think the quality is amazing. So I have a viewfinder over here, and like I am shook at how good this is, and it's like a nice blurry background, which I can change. I got a nice 16 millimeter lens so that I'm not just a floating head. You can kind of see what's behind me, and I am so pumped to upgrade this vlog setup because I'm gonna be doing a lot more vlogs. So if you're interested in this type of content, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small content content creator, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you know when I upload, which is like Mondays and Thursdays, but it kind of just depends on how busy my life is. So yeah, let's get started. I think I have so much to do. Um, we're just kind of going to see where I can start. Today I have gone with a Lululemon kind of golf tennis look. I'm wearing this golf skirt and this kind of like built-in bra tank and it'll just be perfect because I'm gonna be doing a lot of running around, a lot of moving around, a lot of lifting, so I didn't want to wear anything that would show my butt. Basically is kind of <laughs> the, the logic I went with for my outfit today. Thought I would just eat my breakfast and power up for my day ahead. I took today off work so I can just really focus on cleaning the house. Well, not cleaning the house. I took the day off work so I can really focus on prepping the house, get everything ready, kind of putting away what we're not having the movers take because we have been told that like if you don't want the movers to take it, like put it in your car. They'll take everything. So, oh my god. Look at this toast, y'all. It's delicious. And then I got this juice. I think it's like turmeric, orange juice, and a couple other things. Oh, they didn't give us straws. Mm hmm Sad. Unless they're in here. No. All right. Good thing I have straws. Mm. It's like a gingery orange juice, so it's not too sweet. It's really good. Mm. Highly recommend. Task one, empty this fridge because none of it can come with us and a lot of it is just expired food. So, oh, I hate, hate, hate mold and the smell of rotten food. And I'm the kind of person that throws away Tupperware instead of cleaning it out which my husband will be mad if I do. So I clean this all out and then there is a surprise in the freezer that I'm gonna pull out. Maybe I'll start with that. It is the, oh God, it's literally falling apart. The top of our wedding cake. So we had saved this for, I guess you like eat it on your one year anniversary, which kind of sounds gross to me because it's year old cake. Um, and we had a delicious like key lime wedding cake. It was so good. So I'm gonna set this out to thaw and maybe I can hide it from my husband and then surprise it with him tonight because it's not gonna travel. Like there's no way a frozen year old cake is gonna travel to California. So setting that aside. But other than that, I think most everything in the fridge is gonna go. So I'm gonna clean that out, take it to the trash and just do my best, enjoy. <laughs> for a morning coffee a couple things I don't know if my husband's gonna eat but before tomorrow um, that I will throw away tomorrow morning but for the most part it's looking pretty good and then this used to be our drawer just for LaCroix and that is empty and I still need to do the freezer but I totally forgot that I need to start painting our front door so I'm gonna start painting that so that I can be doing other things while I'm waiting for it to dry because I don't know if it's gonna need two or three coats I need to sand it down so I'll show you what the door looks like when we get to painting it it's not bad there's just like you can see where the old handles were and we replaced the handles because we wanted a different door handle and now we have to paint over it so 
I'm gonna run out and get paint for that. And then we have some clothes to take to Plato's closet. And then eventually I need to run to play it again sports and sell a couple things that my husband no longer uses. And yeah, we're just getting ready for the move. It's really nice out, so I'm just gonna put my top down. I have a Jeep Wrangler and it has a convertible top and this is seriously one of my favorite features. I use it all of the time. So I think I'm gonna run my errands with the top down, put the windows down, get some fresh air. And yes, don't worry, I put on all my sunscreen this morning. How do I look? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sand the door down. So I needed a mask and eye protection. Uh, these are just my husband's safety specs and hopefully I can get most of the door. I don't know how much I can film because I don't want to get my new camera like dusty. All right, progress update. You can kind of see definitely down here with my first pass. I managed to take some of the paint off. I think the goal is just to get it smooth. I don't think I need to take all the paint off, but I'll definitely need a ladder to get up there. And then I'll have my husband take the hardware off so that I can sand over there as well. I now see the appeal of power tools. It was really kind of fun to do with the sander. So I'm um, gonna remove the hardware and start painting. One is done. It doesn't look amazing. You can definitely still see the a little bit of the gray underneath, but hopefully two coats, I'm guessing it's gonna be three coats, will finish this off beautifully. My energy levels are starting to fade, so I got a peanut butter smoothie and hopefully the sugar will kick in and help give me some more energy, but I got two coats in the door. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a third. Here, I'll go show you. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love it with the brick and I wish we had done this while we actually lived here so we could have enjoyed this beautiful beige door, but I ended up just going with the two coats. I think it looks beautiful. I still have to put the hardware back on, but this is what the front door looks like now. Sad to leave such a beautiful home. All right, I tackled most of the fridge. Now it's time for the cupboard. All of this needs to go and it does feel like such a waste. Maybe we'll see if there's anything on open we can take to a food bank like those up there, but I'm not really sure how much of this we can save, but let's get started. All right, it's starting to look a lot more empty. The food over here is food that my husband will probably take with him to the apartment he stayed in Raleigh or that we're gonna eat tomorrow morning, but these I need to tackle. So I'm gonna take the containers with me, but I don't want them to travel with the flour and the sugar inside. So let's go clean those out. So I took a break to lay in bed and watch some TV and my computer is dead. Not like dead, I need to charge it. I plugged it into the charger, nothing happened, wouldn't turn on. Check the charger on another device, charger is fine. So I think I gotta say goodbye to my laptop and I need to buy a new one. The display had started rainbowing, so I guess I kind of saw this one coming, but oh, I thought I had a couple more months with it. But oh, now I'm left without a laptop. I have my work laptop and I have my iPad. So between those, I can do work and I can do personal stuff. I can't edit videos, but hopefully I get another computer before that's an issue. <sighs> so much for like a relaxing afternoon. I was just gonna take like a 30 minute break and just enjoy some YouTube. And I might still do that on my phone, but it's a real bummer with just my laptop being dead hanging over my head, so. I try not to go too crazy with dog content on my channel, but look how cute. Oh my goodness. Hi, capacitor. Oh, I just love that she's laying there like using the pillow. You're so, so cute. And she is so unbothered by this camera. She does not care that it's you. <laughs> 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 
year old wedding <laughs> cake. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's not great. <laughs> There has been a long day, there has been cake, and now it is time for bed. So I'm gonna go to sleep because even though it's only like 8.30, movers are coming tomorrow at 8 and we have an entire garage to move before they come. So hopefully gonna get some sleep and yeah, I'm probably gonna be really stressed, probably not gonna sleep well, but we'll see and I will see y'all tomorrow. The movers are here. I am kind of hiding in my car so that I'm not in the way because they are awesome and just literally packing everything. So um, we got them some drinks and their truck is here, but for the most part, I don't think I'll get much footage because like I said, I don't want to be in the way. exhausted it is Saturday so the movers came yesterday and I mean I shouldn't even complain because they moved like they were just non-stop moving but I stayed up late to clean and I'm just I'm so tired I wasn't able to vlog much yesterday just because I didn't want to be in the way and I didn't want to film people who didn't want to be filmed but I'm literally just so tired I can't think I have the like biggest coffee that I could get from Starbucks. I think it's like the venti. I would have gone bigger if they had it. Mm. With a double shot of espresso. <laughs>